Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I want to read to you from Colossians 1, starting with 9. And this actually explains what I was talking about yesterday. Colossians 1, 9. For this reason, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of His will in all wisdom, and spiritual understanding that you may walk worthy of the Lord fully pleasing Him being fulfilled in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God strengthened with the might according to His glorious power for all patient, patience and long suffering with joy, giving thanks to the Father whom He has glorified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love in whom we have redemption through the, His blood, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by Him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, invisible, excuse me, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all these things were created through Him and for Him, and He is before all things and in him all things consist and he is the head of the body of the church who is the beginning of the first born from the dead that all things he may have the premise for it is pleased the Father that in him all the fullness should dwell and by him to reconcile all things to him by him whether things on earth or things in heaven having made peace through the blood of the cross and you who once were alienated and enemies of, in your mind by wickedness works, yet now he has reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and blameless above reproach in his sight. I'm going to stop there and mention this that Christ is the head. He's the head 
as the as our pastor put it, he's from here, basically from here, or well basically from here up. He's the brain. He's this part of the church. He's the head. Where his eyes, his nose, his mouthpiece, where his limbs. But not everyone can can you know be the same thing. Everybody is supposed to fulfill their part of the body. And we're supposed to be doing this with power. Jesus gave us the power. Before he he rose to he ascended uh, into heaven. He he told the uh, um, the disciples. Um, here, let me just read here. Find it here. He is risen. Let's see. The Great Commission. Uh, here, um, actually, you know, at the end of Matthew, for instance, Matthew 28, Matthew 28, right here it says, all authority, well, you know, and, excuse me, let me go back here, and Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I will be with you always, even to the end of the earth age. Well, there's another uh, um, Book here, I gotta look at here real quick. I can't remember where it is for sure now, which one it is. If it was um, Mark, yeah, it was in, it's in Mark at the end of Mark, uh, Mark 16. It says here, later he appeared to the eleven. As they sat at the table, and he re rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart, because of, they did not believe those who had seen him, and after he had risen. And he said to them, Go into all the world, preach the gospel to every creature, he who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak with new tongues, they will take up serpents, and if they drink anything, Deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. See, the, this, this is the authority that Christ gave the disciples and everyone else who follows after them and believes in Jesus Christ. The church, many in the church are no longer following the authority of Jesus Christ. Instead, they want to follow the authority of man and man's ways and what man wants and what some congregation wants or, or what somebody wants on social media. 
If it's not their way, then they are constantly attacking, attacking and attacking somebody, some way, somehow, because they're not getting their way. They're like a bunch of spoiled brats that when they don't get their way, they're breaking somebody. If they don't break their own toys, they'll break somebody else's toys. I was going through my YouTube here um, just recently and clicked on somebody's YouTube uh, channel and I noticed they made a video about my college degree and they put on there in this video that they made some lies about my college degree well if, if I didn't go to college how would I know anything about the professor and what happened to him at the end of my time there at the college I'm not telling you what it is so you will say well um, I know because I said it. Well, I'm not going to say it. So you think, well, you know, you're smarter than me. You're going to have to figure that one out. If you're smarter than me. Also, how I, I, I got I got binder. Okay, I was told in in one of my classes I was taking that I should be keeping. I should keep. Keep a binder. You know what binder is? You know, three ring binder that you put papers in. Well, I have a three ring, three ring, real thick, a, a three inch binder with all the paperwork from all my classes I took, including a, a copy of my transcript. I called the college. I even emailed the college and I showed them what you had said. So they said they'll be checking into it. So, you know, you know who you are that did that and said those lies? But, you know, you think you might pull a fast one over me for a little while. But sooner or later, it'll, it catches up to you. And it'll all catch up to you in the end because everyone, everywhere, all over the face of this earth, even in Australia, will see Jesus Christ coming in the clouds and the angels Gathering the elect and dead in Christ will rise first and those who are left alive will be caught up with them. You'll see this happening and you'll mourn and your hearts will fail you because you will know you were wrong. Some people don't realize they're wrong until it, hits, it slaps them in the face. And then some pe people don't even realize they're wrong, no matter how much they get slapped in the face. How much more slapping is it going to take for you to understand how wrong you are? God bless you. Have a blessed day.